ASMR. Hey everybody, um, today I have some chicken and rice. I thought I would eat it and talk a little bit about, um, the, um, Christmas Carol tour that I went on two years ago. And it's really depressing to think that it was two years ago now. Let's see. So, I have a spoon and a fork. I'll probably still make a mess. This is just some off-brand, um, basically rice a chicken flavored type stuff. You can see the steam. And I just started dog. So, um, I have talked about how when I was living in Maine, um, we used to, during Halloween time, we would drive down to Salem, Massachusetts, and we would dress up and walk around for Halloween because so many people would go down there to celebrate Halloween. And it was really fun to watch all the people in costume. It's kind of like a poor man's comic con. It's probably the closest I'll ever get to a con. Um, this chicken's really dry. is flavored water. Yeah, I just cooked um, a whole chicken and picked the chicken off of it and put it in Tupperware. It was super dry. But, yeah, so anyway, we enjoyed going to Salem for Halloween. ago before I moved to Texas on like December 12th or something like that. Um, we went down there to go on a, it's called Salem Trolley and the Gallows Hill Theater present A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now, I had been on a couple of their Halloween, like, ghost and witch trial story, um, themed trolley rides during Halloween time. But this was different. This was like interactive theater. So, parts of the door would be on the trolley ride, and parts would be inside different locations. So what happened is we all met up at a gift shop. And then all of a sudden believe, if I'm remembering correctly, um, Scrooge came out from the back of the gift shop when the two men who came into the store to ask him for um, money for the poor came in. And it was interactive, so the two men, before Scrooge even came out, asked um, a young girl if she would help them ask Scrooge for money because they thought maybe 
you know, a sweet young girl asking, he might actually say yes. So they picked someone from the audience, a young girl, and had her ask him. And of course, when he came out, he was his rude self. And then I believe his nephew came in. And I don't remember exactly how it happened, but um, they were like, okay, let's all go for a ride or something like that. So we all piled into the trolley. And it was a really packed trolley. So my family and I were all separated. I was crammed in the back with like four other random people. Um, my mom and sister were sitting with people they didn't know. And my son was sitting with someone that he didn't know. And Scrooge got on last and walked up and down the trolley and started like harassing people. And my son had fairly long hair at the time. So he called him Harry Styles. And um, he came to the back and he asked us to squeeze over so we could sit there, but there was no room, so he was like, okay, whatever, Von Trapp family. So he was really in character. And every time that one of the ghosts would come. Um, like the trolley lights would go out, like blink on and off, and there'd be like a bell sound or something. And um, when the ghost would appear, the trolley would stop and the ghost would get on the trolley and tell Scrooge to get off the trolley. And we would all go into, we'd follow them into a different building. So basically the trolley would drive around Salem and stop at different locations. And you'd get off the trolley and the, the story would continue inside of the location. And it was funny, because at Bob Cratchit's house, they would pull people out of the audience to be Cratchit's kids. And Tiny Tim, they would pull a really tall dude out of the audience to pretend he was Tiny Tim. Sorry if you hear the train tracks. was a really fun thing. You know, he'd try and talk to people in the audience and pull them up and make fun of them. You know, he didn't go too far with them making fun of people. I think they must, um, I think they must, you know, get trained to know how far to go. It ended up cycling, not cycling, but the trolley would end up at the end, back at the gift shop. And, um, you know, when he'd come to his senses and, you know, vowed 
to be a better man and all that. As you stepped off the trolley, he would hand you a gold chocolate coin. Oh. Sorry, this is so dry. One of the locations. Um, basically the last one. Um, where, um, you know, basically he saw, um, you know, the ghost of Christmas future. Um, you know, we were in the, we were in a graveyard.